Hi everyone, in this video I am showing you the software Boink running in the Jaguar board as you can see here and I am showing you here the CPU and GPU as well here is the CPU as you can see it's at 100% doing Boink calculations you can see here Boink running and this is the GPU running as well. This is the integrated Intel GPU. You can see here Intel graphics. So here you can see the Boink Maneuver software. I am running here Work Community Grid applications. This is the Work Community Grid project the SETI at home project which is running on the GPU and some non-CPU intensive tasks so work community, work community grid runs on the CPU SETI at home runs on the GPU and the other projects are non-CPU intensive projects which runs uh, which doesn't use almost nothing of the CPU as you can see running both things the CPU and GPU projects doesn't make the processor throttle the CPU speed you can see it's running at 100% and in fact this pro this processor which is an Intel Atom CPU C3735G it is clocked at 1.33 GHz but in fact it runs it runs more at 1.55 and 1.57 GHz so it is actually running almost some some about 200 megahertz faster than the processor and it is running very stable you can see I have it power on it, it has been on several times but due to updates and some windows things and drivers and stuff I had to restart it but as you can see it is very stable let's change this to radical processors view the four processors are running at maximum um, even when the memory is high, it doesn't crash or or becomes unstable. It is very stable, in fact, and, and responsive. It responds very well. Um, so here you can see in in the process sections that it uses nearly the, the entire core. These are the work community grid tasks, and this is the CPU uses for those tasks. Um, Bitcoin Finance is the non-CPU project that is here, Bitcoin Finance and the SETI at home project which is a GPU project it isn't using CPU at all that's because it is running on the GPU which is the Intel graphics um, some machines use the same processor and it throttles the CPU but the Jaguar board doesn't throttle the GPU at all even the temperature is running cold enough and this is a fanless this is a fanless board which means it doesn't have a fan for a fanless board it runs quite cool and it doesn't throttle the CPU or GPU at all as you can see so if you are looking for a computer or, or, bulk, uh, or board cheap enough to run um, Boink projects. This is a great board actually to to run Boink in it. It is cheap. It only costs fifty dollars, forty five or fifty dollars, depending on on if well that that was if you were a backer in Kickstarter. Some backers got it at forty five. Um, some got it at fifty. I got it at fifty, but um, my bundle had the the USB hub included so so that that it doesn't cost um it isn't expensive this is a, a very inexpensive board you can get at jaguarboard.org and and use it to crunch tasks you see the, the memory it got up but it it's still responsive um Let's go into test. Oh, and this board only has 16 gigabyte of solid state 
well it's not actually solid state this emmc flash but it's kind of like solid state so and it is pretty fast as well so it is a great board to do boink crunching you can see that the, this spike here is due to the memory actually it hasn't has nothing to do with throttling um actually it throttles the cpu but it doesn't throttle it that much when the temperatures go up to to some 75 78 degrees celsius so you don't have to worry about it because it, it runs pretty cool and this is with the cpu and gpu turned on constantly 24 7 crunching so it is very stable it just work it is excellent cheap and oh and it uses um pretty much nothing of power it's only five volts and two amps so so yeah if you want a cheap computer to run boink or do some other cpu intensive um projects just get this port it is pretty good actually it is very good and it will not fail to you so it is up to you to get one of these um pretty awesome computers so thanks for watching i hope you like this video and i hope you also run blank in your board as well so that is if you are up to scientific applications and projects and you like to help in the research area so yeah that is pretty much this video so thank you for watching i hope you like it if you did please share this video like it um comment on it and subscribe to my channel and get one of this board it will it will help you um anyway just, just get it just get it it is a very really good board it is an excellent board i like it a lot and well yeah that's pretty much all so thank you for watching again.